So we're up here at the Maidan property and we've come across a Scarn lens and I believe that this is running like this and it's about 70 centimeters to 80 centimeters wide from there to underneath that tree where the mineralization runs on a strike of this and you have sulfides all in here I want to hammer a sample here but this piece looks really sketchy so I, I did get a sample from over here you can see pyrite very minor cocoa pyrite couple of small samples just broke off. Another couple of pieces here. The last piece here. Secondary on this road, you have a very silicous vein that runs through here. You can see the oxidation here. There's a bit of sulfides, primarily iron pyrite. So this vein is from here to here. And this is traceable from the corner here all the way up where it goes under the overburden we've taken a sample from here we've taken a sample from here as well sample from the upper area pyrite it's very fine And then a sample from the lower area, also with pyrite. Below the vein, we just found a float rock. A whole bunch of float samples in the middle of the road. Quartz, minor sphalerite, and pyrite. Another one here with coarse pyrite. About 20 or 30 of these on the side of the road. We are at a portion of the, the Made West min file. You can see this shear here hosting a quartz vein, which varies in size, but it goes down this way, like that, and it widens as you go down. There's pyrite, arsenopyrite. A bit of calcopyrite and a little bit of magnetite in some areas so I just pulled this sample from right here you can see more sulfide veining down here it's all along in here as well And this is exposed on the other side of this, 25 meters away. And this continues that way as well. Smaller over there, but continuation of about 50 meter strike. Arsinopyrate, pyrate. A little bit of chemical pyrite. There's lots of oxidation in these samples. Hard to get an unweathered surface.
Here's a piece I broke off the vein. There's valerate in there and arsenopyrite. Pyrite throughout as well. The average thickness of the vein is about this, but in areas it's two or three times this. In some areas it's half the size of this, but it's traceable over three separate showings in about a 60 meter span. We have one of the min files behind us over here, but what we wanted to look at is this area here where all this rock has been dug out for the use of building this road. And what we found is pretty cool. Take a look at this. Massive arsenopyrite and pyrite. Look at this huge, huge boulder here. Oh, it's got to be a couple hundred pounds. This is just massive. Take a look at that. So we haven't found the source of this or anything, but there's veins like this all over the place nothing that we've seen that's this size so far lots of narrow quartz arsenopyrite pyrite calcopyrite and sphalerite veins and some of them are over a strike of 100 200 meters but they are narrow but this is a beautiful sample so i'd like to find where this comes from Another piece I just broke off the end. Gorgeous. So take a look at this. Broke it in half. She is solid all the way through. For more information about Cremody Resources Mineral Properties, visit www.cremodiresources.com.